Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Trump drops hammer on California, governor announces end of the line. Trump refused to help, so California's new governor is canceling the big liberal dream. Liberals in California were just hit with a monster budget shortfall. After winning office, Governor Newsom proposed an insane $144.2 billion spending plan to fund his ridiculous left-wing schemes. But last month, the state was $2.602 billion short of the $9.233 billion budget projection. Why? Because people are fleeing California over its high tax rates. The leftist government has run California into the ground, and now they're having to admit defeat on one of their most prized liberal dreams to get rid of the cars that are apparently destroying our planet, the high-speed rail. President Trump would not allow the federal government to fund the exorbitant project. From Cal Matters. One of those hurdles comes from the Trump administration itself, which decided last February to hold off on approving a $647 million grant that would have helped electrify a stretch of track slated for future high-speed train traffic. And now the final nail is in the coffin. From Fox News. California Governor Gavin Newsom announced on Tuesday he is pulling the plug on the state's massive high-speed rail project from Los Angeles to San Francisco that was more than a decade behind schedule and billions in the red. Let's be real, Newsom said in his first State of the State address. The current project, as planned, would cost too much and respectfully take too long. There's been too little oversight and not enough transparency. It's refreshing Newsom admitted that the bullet train was nothing more than yet another liberal scam. The train has already cost California taxpayers billions, and has been under construction since 2008. And now neither the politicians who advocated for it nor the people who voted for it have anything to show for their efforts. Higher land acquisition costs, the need for safety barriers, and increasing demands from stakeholders have added billions to the project and pushed the completion date to 2033. At this point, cutting and running is really the only option the Democrats have left. It's also what they're best at. For all the left's talk about using the government to improve society, this bullet train has only enriched a select few and left many others destitute, just like all Democrat plans do. Republican and San Diego Councilman Mark Kersey stated last year that all the billions wasted on this train, could have been invested in our current infrastructure needs, such as water storage, flood control, highways and bridges. But California is like the millennial of states. They have many grand ideas, but no ability to implement them. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.